mosquito bite. <laughs> um, I did not research properly. Athens has never been a city that I've dreamt about visiting. I'm not really sure why, there isn't a reason, it just wasn't on my list, it's not a city that I thought about. However, recently it made sense for us to stop in Athens for a few days on our travels and I'm really glad that we did. It's such a great city, it's a beautiful city that seamlessly combines old and new ancient and modern. We spent six days there, wandering the streets, eating vegan ice cream, standing beside ruins that date back from the 5th century BC, petting cats. <laughs> what really stood out to me was how kind the people are. You know, if we stopped someone on the road and asked for directions or about the bus, they would gladly stop and help us you know, looking up things on their phone if necessary. Even if they had something to do, they had time for us. And that's how Greek people are. They're not in a rush for anything. <laughs> now, having lived in Greece for two months, that can sometimes be a bit frustrating <laughs> when you need to actually get something done. But there's a lesson to be learned from them. You know, even if you have things to do, you have time. You have the time to do them. You have time to stop and help someone. You have time to enjoy life. You have time to talk to cats. <laughs> and maybe that's just something that becomes a part of you when you live surrounded by these ancient ruins, these monumental expressions of the vastness of time constant reminder that life goes on regardless. Athens is not just a beautiful city, it's a timeless city. So, <laughs> uh, I'm so tired. <sighs> so, what was supposed to happen is that tomorrow 
um, we were gonna fly to Samos to start um, house sitting, looking after a house as well as two cats and a dog for two months. Um, however, my travel companion <laughs> has come down with COVID. Yeah, basically this morning we took um, rapid antigen tests that we had, like the at-home ones. He took two, they were both negative, I mean positive, Ugh. they were both positive. I took one, mine was negative. I don't have any symptoms. He was having symptoms, or he has symptoms. Um, so at that point we, <laughs> we were like, fuck. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long day. We went and got PCR tests. We tried to call all the hotlines. There's like a bunch of numbers you can find online um, that are supposed to help you if you have COVID or suspect you have COVID. Um, when in Greece, none of them worked. They either just were, they said invalid number. So I'm assuming that they weren't working because we were calling from foreign phones, even though we were putting the, the international calling code in front of it. Sometimes they would work and they would just play music for a while and then hang up on us. They would say something in Greek, hang up on us. I don't know, it just, we couldn't get through to anyone. Um, we called the embassies uh, eventually. Um, I talked to the Irish embassy. The first lady was nice and um, semi-helpful. The second lady was not very nice. <laughs> um, anyway, we got our PCR tests um i was very anxious and it was yeah it was not a good time waiting for the results because it's just difficult like you couldn't make a plan until we knew if i was negative or positive and we got our results a few hours ago he is definitely positive and i am negative still i don't know how we are both double vaccinated have both done the exact same things for the last week but somehow I've been spared. So that means that tomorrow I'm gonna fly to Samos by myself and he will have to quarantine in Athens for 10 days. Um, we still haven't been able to get through to any phone number um, to actually book him into a quarantine hotel. Supposedly the Greek government pay for it. And then tomorrow morning, because I'm negative, I I have no symptoms and I'm double vaccinated. I don't have to quarantine. So I'm gonna go tomorrow morning to a pharmacy, um, get some supplies, um, get some food to leave with him before I go to the airport around 12 o'clock. And yeah, I am wrecked. It's, just, it's been a very long day. Like it could definitely have been a lot worse. The fact that I'm negative is very helpful because really the main thing I was concerned about was letting down the woman that we are supposed to be pet sitting for. She's gonna fly home for Christmas. So thankfully I can go. But it's just been a difficult to not be able to contact people that would help us in terms of getting a hotel. Um, you know, thankfully, we are able to um, to pay for an Airbnb, which I'm very, very grateful for. Thankfully, we have support um, from our parents if, you know, if we need it. Anyway, that's the story. That's where we're at. I'm very tired, stressed, but feeling okay about it. And also, I should note that my travel companion symptoms are very mild so um so far that's not a major major concern either but hopefully it stays that way um and also the other people at the hostel that we had been hanging out with also seem to not have gotten it um so um definitely could have been worse but yes Okay, I'm gonna go eat, and I'm gonna go to sleep. See what tomorrow brings. I just feel so sad. 
I made it. I made it to Stamos. I kind of have a suspicion that the dog has deliberately taken me on this route because I think it's a little bit longer. 